could find the words to describe you now As I'm lying next to you and the world goes quiet Wish that I could make you see how you fit me perfectly And I fall, fall for you We've been through it all You're the one who understands In a world where hope grows thin You've completed me the story left within tells me how to breathe Wish that I could make you see How you fit me perfectly And I fall, fall for you again We've been through it all You're the one who understands So we currently have a hornet's nest in the bin where we keep our coverings for the chairs on the deck. I don't know if you can see. And they're all coming up. I don't know if this will work. They're all coming up kind of from in the back. Can you see them flying around? So my husband has gone to get some um, Hornet wasp spray, I guess, at the grocery store. And then we're going to have to somehow spray it <laughs> Well, not getting him stung. So we did end up getting an extra weekend out here uh, because whoop, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Which way do you want to go? There we go. <laughs> Uh, my father-in-law wasn't able to come down as early as he thought because he had a couple things come up. So we decided, because it was a beautiful weekend, that we would uh, come out here. And so I have been working on, in the sunshine, knitting on my cashmere um, loose socks with my Christmas bark colorway. It's like Christmas in July. And yesterday we went out for a paddle on the kayaks. It was a little tough because we were going against the current, but uh, it's still pretty calm out there now. So I think what we might do is spray the, um, spray the hornet's nest when my husband gets back and then uh, go out for a paddle while the water is nice and calm. Little beans? Somebody's being such a good puppy. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. 
So to top things off, yesterday we had to spray a wasp nest, which is over by our green bin, <laughs> to take that out so that we could actually get to our green <laughs> bin to put our compost in. So uh, yeah, it's been it's been a weekend of wasps and hornets. <laughs> So this is how my half and half experiment is looking so far with switching up the colors every time I finish a ball. I, I actually really like it. Here's where my marker is right now. So stretched out. This is how much further I have to go back and forth. And this is how much of the green I have left of the ball I'm currently working on. So I don't know if I will have enough to kind of finish before I get to the end or if I'll end up getting to like the marker here and then have to switch to the blue, which is fine because this is like a total experiment to see how this is going to look. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying it. I've been totally obsessed with knitting this lately, which is funny because when I was just doing the blue, um, which is kind of like a, it's sort of like a gray blue, it's called stormwater blue. And this is fresh pickle. It was fine, but I just, I didn't, I kind of lost steam on it for a bit. And then when I switched over to the green and I started, and I decided I was gonna like, not stripe it, cause I don't think it's gonna come out striped. It may come out more chunky, but, um, once I decided I was going to experiment and with flipping the colors every time I finished a ball, I got really excited to turn, see how it was going to turn out. And I have just been like powering along. This has probably had, I'd say, about 90% of my attention. So um, I really have to get back and finish the sleeves on my DRK sweater. But I, no, not my DRK sweater, my bright side sweater. But I've just been really obsessed with knitting this lately. She's having a very easy morning. I like how we put like the blanket down for her and then she lays down next to it. See how blue the sky is? <gasps> so nice. So my husband has had to go back to the hardware store because it wasn't open and none of the other places had wasp and hornet spray. So we came home, it didn't open until 10, so we went for a paddle, which was beautiful. And then uh, he's gone back out to the hardware store. <laughs> What's that thing called? And I'm gonna go down here and take a couple of pictures because there are some beautiful pictures to be, ta to be taken. So when you walk by this here, which I think is a blackberry bush, um, it smells incredible. It smells like magnolia. I don't know how I know what magnolia sounds like, smells like. <laughs> so. I take some pictures.
Good morning, everybody. It is July 24th, I think. And it <laughs> this looks more like the vlog setting, but I realized that I haven't done an episode in, I think, a month. I've done the vlog, I've released the vlog, but I haven't done an episode in a month. And there's just been a lot of stuff going on. There's been some family stuff that's been a little stressful. We're in the middle of a heat wave right now, which is why I'm downstairs, not upstairs, because the more levels you go up, the hotter it gets. And I did not want to turn on studio lights on top of that. So I'm sitting in front of my, my uh, big picture window. And uh, I know it's warm, isn't it? I know. So I have been knitting but I have also been doing a lot of writing. So the writing has gone back to its normal schedule, which had been some knitting time for me. So my knitting time is probably cut in half because uh, I've been, I've started writing a new book and I'm doing that in the mornings before work. And I'm also doing it on my lunch hour if I don't go to the gym. So now my knitting time is basically the weekend and for about an hour uh, in the evenings after supper. So are you gonna, you're gonna just keep panting away? Okay. <laughs> so what I thought I would do is I would just combine my July vlog because I don't think I have a whole lot on there. <laughs> and episode 100 and 121, I think, 120, we'll do a little combo. So here's what I thought, Oop, because I have all my knitting stuff here. Uh, and it's not, it's not a lot. We're gonna start, we've got the half and half wrap, uh, which is a bit of a, an experiment that I'm doing where instead of doing half of the wrap, one color and the other half, the other color, I'm literally changing the color every time I run out of one ball, I switch to the to the contrasting color. So for me, I'm going stormwater blue and fresh pickle and then alternating it rather than doing it half and half. I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> Is it really a half and half wrap anymore? But I am on the second ball of blue. So I've gone through one ball of the stormwater blue. I've gone through one ball of the fresh pickle. <laughs> the fresh pickle. <laughs> and uh, I've started on the second ball of the blue and I would say I'm maybe a little more than halfway through. So this actually, it's kind of hard to show because it's so big, so you can't really stretch it out on the needles, but maybe if I try the little uh, doohickey things here, I can stretch it a bit further. I'm doing this without my glasses on. <laughs> so, let's see. So I have just passed, like just passed, the halfway point. I really hope that those don't fall off. I'm always nervous when I use these things. I've never had them fall off, but I'm always nervous that that's what's going to happen. So I'm not going to go crazy stretching it out, but hopefully enough to give you. Let's see if I can stand up here. Oh my god, this thing's massive. So this is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> now, the thing is, is that now we're building kind of, we've gone, where is it? We've knit kind of the blue on here. And now we're starting kind of the second half, which will come out like this, I believe. So originally I thought, oh, it's gonna kind of look striped. And then I thought, no, it's not, because now once we get to here, we're gonna start coming out like this. 
So I think it's going to just end up looking more like blocks of color, but I actually really like it. And I will say it does make it a little more enjoyable um, by switching the colors up. Because <laughs> you're not, you know, it's a huge project. So when you are doing one color the whole time for like half of it, it does start to get a little dull. And uh, I had actually kind of lost steam on it. And then when I switched to the green color, I was like, oh, see, I like this better. I like switching it up. So that's what I decided to, to do. Plus, I'm really curious to see how it looks like uh, once it's done, like how the colors block out. So uh, that's where we're at right now. And I have to say, this has really been my go-to because, you know, like where we, I was kind of stressed out about some family stuff. I just wanted something mindless to work on. And this completely fit the bill. So that is that. And that's in Stormwater Blue and Fresh Pickle in the Pearl Soho Linen Quill. My first half and half wrap, if you've seen, I'll try to remember to link it here. Um, I ended up giving that to my niece for Christmas, but that was not made out of linen quill. And I like the linen quill yarn. And I think if you're buying it in the States, it's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like $18 and you get I don't know, I think it's 400 and some yards per, per ball, but I guess. Oh, sorry. <laughs> She's very excited because grandpa was just here. <laughs> My husband's father's down. Uh, staying at the schooner house for the summer so he uh, stopped by and the boys went out to breakfast and I thought this would be a good opportunity I've got the house to myself I can do a little mini mini sewed down here <laughs> here's where I'm at this is the bright side sweater which is a pattern by Spastro Oops. and um I made one alteration, which you probably can't see right now. Hold on. <laughs> it's a little all smushed up. So I'm using Telluride, which is by Classic Elite, which is a yarn that I don't believe they make anymore. This is, it's a blend of I have dog prints on my glasses, which is why I'm not wearing them right now. 82% <laughs> super fine alpaca, 12% linen, and 6% Donegal. So this is the, it's color 2978, which is the coconut color. So I did, I stopped working on this for a bit. I just kind of lost steam on it. And I think it was just because... I knew I had to uh, do the sleeve and I, some, for some reason, just the picking up the stitches for the sleeve was just more than my <laughs> mental capabilities were at that point. But I did do that the other weekend and then, I think it was last weekend, and then I just knit the whole sleeve down to the cuff um, following the pattern. But when I, got to the cuff like if you see in the picture here uh the cuff is kind of like a loose cuff it looks pretty straight down from the sleeve it doesn't kind of go in and I thought I have a lot of sweaters like that's usually kind of mostly my go-to in making sleeves and I thought I think what I might do is because it was still pretty so this the sleeve is still fairly wide and I have a skinny wrist so I thought rather than it have be loose in my wrist I went around and I knit and I knit two together 
knit one, knit two together, knit one all the way around. And I'm just going to, I don't know if that's a dog hair. <laughs> Uh, just to kind of bring it in almost to make like a little bit of a balloon sleeve. It's not going to be like a huge balloon sleeve look to it, but just kind of enough where it kind of goes and then like that. <laughs> so I thought that is what I would do. And so now I just have to knit the cuff and I think I'm almost uh, I probably have about three inches to go so I think I will do what I'm going to do is I will knit two inches and then I'm going to try it on to see how much because I want it to go uh, just kind of to the wrist bones here so I'll keep knitting until I do that then I'll cast on the other one and try to get that done probably next weekend because I have Friday off and then Monday's a holiday so we get like a four day weekend. So that is the sweater and the only other thing I have been working on is I did put a little love <laughs> finally on my Christmas bark socks. I may have them on I'm done in time for Christmas 2022. I have about, I have small feet. So I have about another maybe inch and a half to go before I do a rounded toe. And then this is only the first sock. So then I'll have to cast on the second sock. So this is being knit out of Christmas bark, which is my Christmas, one of my Christmas colorways. And this is the cashmere base, uh, which I like doing the lo loose socks in the cashmere base because it's just like comfy house socks. And I mean, the BFL or the 7525 nylon is sturdier for socks, but I just love the loose socks in the cashmere because it's just so cozy. And that is about it. That is literally all I have been knitting on. Um, what else has been going on? Not much. It's mostly been like kind of family stuff that we're kind of working through. And um, we canceled our trip to London just partly because of the family stuff that we're dealing with. And also the airports are a complete shit show right now and the idea of having to deal with that when you want to be on a relaxing vacation is just really didn't appeal to us so we thought you know i just given everything that's going on we're just going to cancel the trip this year and we're going to go next year and hopefully by then they'll get the whole airport thing sorted out um we'll have the family thing in hand and just um yeah just it, I think it will just be a better experience. We'll be able to relax and enjoy it more. And other than that, I have been, uh, like I said, I've been working on a new book, so that's going really good. I was contacted by our local TV station about taking part in a series that they do called First Draft, where they profile an author each episode. Um, so the, I'm getting interviewed for that September 30th. What else? I'm doing a book signing salon. It's called the, oh, I'm going to mess up the name now. Uh, Re His Historical Regency Salon, I think we're calling it, uh, one of the bookstores, which is actually just kind of about two minutes away from me. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be open to the public. There's going to be me, and I think there's for other authors. We have a lot of romance writers in Nova Scotia. So we've got a good crew. We've got uh, Michelle Halliwell who writes historical romance like I do. We have um, Catherine Fox who writes like smart, sassy, sexy books. And then uh, Tim Covell. I'm not sure what Tim's working on right now. 
and so that's in August 21st, which I think is the last day of my August vacation, which we're not spending at Schooner because my father-in-law is down. So we're just going to be kicking around town. <laughs> we might do some day trips down to Lunenburg, stop in at Mariner's Daughter, <laughs> and then we'll probably go to my home bay and I'll stop in, I think, the yarn. I keep calling it the yarn burn. That's <laughs> what it's called. Is that what it's called? No, it's not what it's called. That's what I call it. Uh, I forget the name of it now. <laughs> so we'll probably uh, stop in there. We may do an overnight, an overnighter, and then uh, put the dog in the kennel and get her used to the kennel. Because that's the other thing we really need to do. Because she's a pandemic puppy. We got her, we got her in October and then everything went into lockdown in March. So she really... She has been with us the entire time. She's We've never gone away like we normally do. And so she's very attached to us. I don't know how the kennel's going to go. So anyway, that's about all that's going on. So I'm hoping to get another episode out within the next few weeks. <laughs> Sorry, this one's so short. But there is really, really not much to show you. I've just been a little uh, brain dead and my head's been elsewhere. So uh, I've just been working on uh, the half and half wrap and just in mindless kind of knitting. So hopefully by the next time I will have the sweater done. I'll be further on the half and half wrap. I'm not even going to say I'm going to have these done. My goal is to get these done before Christmas or before December. <laughs> uh, but I do have some other socks on the go, which I haven't touched at all. So ho hopefully I can get those done as well. So until then, I hope you guys are having a wonderful summer. I hate, hope for any of you guys that are also experiencing the heat wave, which I heard is going through the U.S. and Europe and here. <laughs> it's just a massive global heat wave climate change anybody <laughs> so I hope you guys are uh, weathering it well and finding some time to knit and until next episode I will see you soon happy knitting bye